Hello everyone, welcome to DMG Chemistry Classes and today we are going to talk about the mathematical formulation of first law of thermodynamics and it is a very simple relationship between internal energy, heat and work. And internal energy of a system can be increased in two different ways. Number one is by supplying some heat to the system and number two is by doing some work on the system and I have explained it in one of my videos that if the work is done on the system then the internal energy of the system increases and if the work is done by the system then its internal energy decreases okay so let us consider a system and initially its internal energy is equal to u1 and this system absorbs heat q then its internal energy uh, will increase and it will become equal to u1 plus q okay and further work is done on the system and that w is the work done on the system then the internal energy of the system will further increase and it will become equal to u1 plus q plus w and this is uh, the final internal energy of the system and let us denote uh, its final internal energy by the symbol u2 so the u2 will be equal to u1 plus q plus w okay where u1 is the initial internal energy and u2 is the final internal energy okay then u2 minus u1 will be equal to q1 plus w and what is this u2 minus u1 it is the change in internal energy internal energy in the final state minus internal energy in the initial state delta u so delta u is equal to q plus w and this equation or this relation is called as mathematical formulation of the first law of thermodynamics okay here this w includes all types of work works it can be your gravitational work it can be your electric work okay what if we consider only pv work that is pressure volume work and pressure volume work is again of two types that is work done by the system uh, is taken as negative and work done on the system is taken as the positive so let us uh, consider here the work of expansion that is work done by the system so here work done by the system it will be negative okay then uh, this equation and work done by the system is equal to w is equal to minus p delta v and where p is external pressure okay and if i substitute the value of w here then this equation will become that is delta u is equal to q minus p delta v okay and let us rearrange this equation then q will be equal to delta u plus p delta v so this is another form of this equation okay and both uh, these equations let it be equation number one and this is equation number two these two equations are for finite changes or the large changes and these equations can also be written for infinitesimal small changes then how we can write these equations the first equation uh, will be written as du it, it will be equal to delta q plus delta w where du is very very small change in internal energy and it is represented by d because because d is a state function and it is a, an exact differential whereas q and w are path functions and they are in exact differentials so their small changes are denoted by the symbol delta and here also this equation will be represented as delta q okay equal to 
डी यू प्लस पी डी वी हेयर अगेन वॉल्यूम इज अ स्टेट फंक्शन सो इट्स डिफरेंशियल विल बी एग्जैक्ट सो दिस इज अनदर फॉर्म सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन एंड इन माई कमिंग वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मुलेशन अंडर डिफरेंट कंडीशंस सो कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच